Well, we'll take a picture here of the wire wire weld. Get this all cleaned up and we'll get the welder working. And do the other side. So, how do we get this piece of wood out of the way? You just pry it up. <clears throat> Hang on. Yeah, it's the head. wrong way now. Oh, good. Ooh, it's thin there. Yeah, it's probably not so thin. Yeah, once I pull the motor, then I'm going to cut that out. Put a new piece in there. This way. It yeah, it's been in there 90 years. <laughs> Bonding to the rest really well. Quite happy. <laughs> That should be thick on the downhill side. Hoping to how to weld vertical. <laughs> well, the certification says I do, but he wasn't really watching. <laughs> yeah.
It's like I went all the way around. What about the other side? I want to do some wood burning? It only burns so much. Actually, I do want to get more on that side. My helmet doesn't fit in here though. Well, you do like your grandpa did, he just welded without a helmet. Of course, we don't suggest welding without a helmet. Unless you like living blind. I think that'll get you through your parade. I hope so. And there's the welds. We'll get them all dressed up here in a bit. And start putting this back together. Okay, so we've got it all welded up. And it's ready. Got the spring back up under there. Remember to either use a leather or a rubber cushion there between the spring and the frame. That's been missing in this one for a long, long time. And while, while working on it, we pretty much discovered that this uh, cross member's pretty well worn out, but just for a few car shows and things, I'm not taking it on any tours, so this should take care of it. So we'll get all the clamps back on and and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, that's uh, that's the fix for a crack frame.